In this video, we'll be bringing together the four golden rules of keyword research. We'll also be taking a look at a real-world example, which will show you exactly how to use Market Samurai to find the best keywords to target in your online business. Just to reiterate, the four golden rules of keyword research are relevancy, traffic, competition, and commerciality. Finding the best keywords to target in your business involves a process of filtering. We start with a large number of keywords and initially we eliminate the keywords that are clearly not relevant to our online business. Then we apply a PBR relevancy filter to remove any misleading keywords. Next we apply a traffic filter to filter out the keywords that do not have sufficient levels of traffic. Then we analyse the amount and strength of the competition to filter out keywords that are too competitive. Finally, we apply a commerciality filter to eliminate the keywords that have little or no commercial value. The end result is that we are hopefully left with a set of gold nugget keywords. These keywords are relevant, have good levels of traffic, acceptable levels of competition, and a high level of commerciality. Let's now take a look at what this entire process looks like in the real world using Market Samurai. I'm going to start from scratch this time and explore the dog training market in detail. So the first thing I'll do is click the new project button and now I'll enter my C keyword dog training. Next I'll click the keyword research button to access the keyword research module and to generate an initial list of keywords that are relevant to my seed keyword I'll just come over here and click the Generate Keywords button. I'll enter a capture and click the Submit button. Now here is where I can quickly eliminate any keywords that are not relevant to my website. For the sake of this example I'll assume that I'm not interested in dog collars. So I'll just select the word collar and then come over here and click the cross icon to make it a negative keyword. And I also want to eliminate the word collars with an S. This time I'll just come over here and type it in and then click the update button. After eliminating any irrelevant keywords I can then come over here and click the analyze keywords button. On the analysis screen I can add my filters to progressively filter down my keywords until I'm left with only my gold nugget keywords. First of all, I'll add a phrase to broad match filter to eliminate misleading keyword phrases from my Google data. You can think of this as a relevancy filter. So I'll just click this plus sign and enter the value 15. And then I'll click the refresh filters button. Next, I'll add an SEO traffic filter to filter out any keywords that do not have the potential to deliver at least 80 visitors to my website each day. Once again, I'll click the plus sign and this time I'll enter in a value of 80. Now the next thing I'll do is select the SEO competition checkbox and then I'll click the analyze keywords button to obtain my competition data. And now that I've got my competition data, I can add a competition filter by clicking this plus sign and entering in a value of 30,000. Remember, this is the value we recommend if you're just starting out online. If you have an existing website with a good page rank and a strong link network, then you will be able to target keywords that have a higher level of competition. But for this example, I'll stick with 30,000. And finally, I'll add an SEO V filter to eliminate keywords that have little or no commercial value. So I'll just click the plus sign and enter in a value of $30. To finish my initial analysis process, I like to rank my results by commercial value. So let me just come over here and click on the SEO V column heading. So after generating my initial list of keywords, I've now filtered my results by relevance, traffic, competition and commerciality. 
As you can see in this example, I'm now left with only 15 active keyword phrases. Now this is where you do need to use a bit of intuition. What I'm looking for is whether there's any common thematic link that connects the keyword phrases that have made it through my filters. A good way to do this is to ask this question. If I was to develop a site based on the phrase X, how many of these other keywords would be relevant to that site? For example, let's look at the top keyword phrase here, protection dog training. If I was to develop a site based on the phrase protection dog training, how many of these other keywords would be relevant to that site? In this example, the answer is not many. Perhaps aggressive dog training might be relevant, but that's about it. Let's look at the next example in my list. If I was to develop a site based on puppy obedience training, how many of these other keywords would be relevant to that site? The answer in this case is quite a few. Dog training courses would be relevant, as would dog training leash, small dog training, house training a dog, dog grooming training. Let me just scroll down. And we also have crate training dogs, dog training tricks, and dog training tip. So this time I have nine keyword phrases that are thematically related, which is a much better result. These are my gold nugget keywords. They are relevant, they have good levels of traffic, acceptable levels of competition, and high levels of commerciality. An effective way to construct a website using these gold nugget keywords is to select one of them as your main theme keyword, which becomes the primary focus of your website, and then use the other keywords as category keywords. For example, imagine that I decided to move ahead and create a dog training related website. Based on my data, I might choose puppy obedience training as my main theme keyword and then use my other keywords as category keywords as shown in this illustration. Within each of these categories, I would then write as many good quality articles as possible. The end result would be a content rich website that specifically targets a set of thematically related keywords. Coming back to Marco Samurai, the next thing to do is to check the strength of the competition associated with the keyword that I'm thinking of using as my main theme keyword. To do this, I'll just come over here and click on the key icon and then come up to the top of the screen and click on the Puppy Obedience Training tab. Now I'll just select the SEO competition module and click the Generate Results button. In assessing this SEO matrix, I can see that none of these websites has been completely optimised for the phrase puppy obedience training, and this is generally a good sign. I can also see that there's some relatively new sites making it into the top 10. Therefore, my gut feel when looking at this SEO matrix is that if I developed a great website with good quality articles targeting my theme and category keywords, I would have a reasonable chance of making it onto the front page of Google. So just to recap, in this video we've seen that the four golden rules of keyword research provide you with a practical way to identify the best keywords to target in your online business. We started with a large number of keywords and then filtered them down by relevance, traffic, competition and finally commerciality. We then identified our gold nugget keywords and saw how these phrases can be used to develop a keyword optimized framework for our online business.